Alrighty, we are back for episode 68 of Kenshi 101. And a little, little bit of time goes through, so I could go through the, t the tech hunter shop and the ranger shop, sell a ton of stuff, bought some heavy uh, long bolts. Long bolts? Long bolts, right? Yeah, this, lo this long bolts. And, um, is there anything else? Yeah, well, somebody had like a medium train mail, like a, a, a standard grade, and they had the exact same thing, but it was high, and it was like, uh, black and change, so I swapped, sold the old one, got the new one, and that way we can just immediately get out of here and not have to do all the selling and buying and moving stuff between pack animals. So, go to Fact 82, there's a guy there who's on our list, but we want to do him later. So once we take him out, this whole base is just, like, not for us anymore. It'll be a problem. And we probably want to take out certain people in certain order. He's one of the last. So once we take him out, the, the whole south is just, like, where's the nearest place we can go to buy and sell stuff? Oh, right, over here. Which is a long distance from the Asslands. So we want to be done with the Asslands before we can take him out. We also want to be done with the Empire. And the pits. Anywho. So. Uh, this was a city we never looked at. But, well, ruins of a city we never looked at. What is... Oh, some of the black, uh, gorillas. Those things are a pain. Alrighty, um, so you, so this guy is almost empty, and then I moved some stuff over to these guys, but we're down to one, two, and a little bit more full instead of three and a half, so it's better, it's not, it's not, you know, good, but better. You hold. All right, so Sniper Valley is an interesting one. It's home to these robots that, unlike all the other robots, use uh, crossbows. And they use the best crossbows in the game. Usually specialist grade or high grade. Eagle crosses. I don't think they use masterwork. I'm not 100% positive. I can't I don't think I can say that 100% that they don't. So, we are not going to run with hold on, because if we encounter one, we want our people to just charge after them. Because spotting them in all of this is going to be near impossible. Because they're essentially camouflaged. Anywho. Being attacked. Who's being attacked? So, beep. Alright, so Beep is being attacked, and he's going, okay, this is what we're here for, sniper bots. So, their melee skills aren't horrible, but they aren't great. Their good thing is, they're good at fighting uh, at a distance, so we want them. Uh, yeah, he's, he's prototype. Uh, Alright, uh, we'll keep this gear on him. And we'll pick him up. Repair. Alright.
So, this used to be a police barracks, whatever the fuck that means. Uh, any of these locked? Nope. Uh, that's scary. No locks. Alrighty. Let's trade with, who was it, Espeon? Yeah, Espeon's almost empty, and then we'll trade that one there, and Umbra and Mavit. If he was near... Where are you? You're up here. So, Umbreon needs to come up here to get this. Yes. Alright. So, we have already gotten the first thing we want. And if I remember right, some of these places have good loot and some of them don't. And some of them have enemies in them. This would be a don't. You don't have to do this with beep since beep isn't carrying anyone. Presumably Tech Hunters have found this place long ago. And all the doors are unlocked because they already went in and took all the good stuff. But hey, you could build a base here probably and just like take them. Be like ours now. Thank you very much. Alright. Uh Alright, you could you could build buildings here, right? No. It is too close to a town. That's what I thought. Okay. Fuck. It counts as a town. That's annoying. So we just wanna walk around the sniper place a bit, see if anyone shoots us. Where they shoot us from, who knows? Where is the enemy? Who knows? This place is weird. Let's go that way. Come on, game. Come on. Hey, it's working. And we're not moving. Okay, that's not good. And it won't let me unpause. Okay. Game is struggling. I'm using a f less than half my my CPU, less than half my RAM, almost zero percent disk usage. All right, what are we fighting? Another sniper bot. All right. <laughs> the game's like, you can't see anything, I refuse to unpause. Suddenly, you're, you're, you're fighting an enemy. <sighs> Come back, Joel's yeah. Alrighty, uh... Sure, Esmer. Um... Second. Alright. And how do you pick them up? The movement kind of slow. Another sniper bot. All right, head towards Sink Espeon. You know what, we should also repair that guy. Yeah, it was. It was Espeon. So, dump. Then, Umbra can have the long bolt. How fast is Ember now? Not very fast. Um, 
You, you, yes, trade. <laughs> fucking robot. So fucking bulky. Apparently they Alright. Um Okay. Crippled. Are we gonna cough a leg or an arm? Let's okay. Pick up. Hold. Alright. Well, I think this one will live, so we're already at three. Poop, Hammett, and Esmer all have one. Alrighty. So, as you can maybe see from some of these people having a lot of damage, it's, it's, those bolts really hurt. Doesn't hurt most people. Most people don't get hit. The people that do get hit get fucked up pretty bad. Alright. Who's gonna fight that? I'm thinking. Three, four, five. Let's see. Actually, not you. You're pretty good. You're pretty good. You're pretty good. Okay, you. Uh, you. 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 And you. And you guys all go on hold. You guys go off hold. And go after the beast. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Yeah. If you get out of there, you'll heal. Um, sure. Dump all this. Turn off hold for a second, now I need to heal. Alright, head to the outpost. I think this is one of the interesting ones. Oh yeah. Oh fuck. Ah, uh, we need to immediately run away. And we'll have like not three, four, five. Yeah, they have very high DPS and they attack quickly. They're what you need for this. Uh Because the little robot spiders, the health per limb is low. So they're both instantly dead because they took enough damage. But they have a very high attack. So you don't want to get hit by them. But if you can hit them with a decent amount of damage, they're going down. <laughs> if you hit them in like the head or chest or whatever. So, beep. You will be our, uh, what, what do you call it? 
person who goes in and dies. Uh, canary. That's it. He will be our canary. Alrighty. Um, pick. So, the other day, I was researching a sword, which was kind of cool. Um, so, in uh, Germany, a lot of uh, infantry officers had spadroons, and a lot of them had a saber for, for battle. So, the spadroon would be the court sword, and the, or, or small sword, right? Uh, would be a court sword, a sword to be worn at court. Yeah, it's, it's something where it's like, is it a spadroon, is it a small sword? Well, it's sort of like right at the edge where I'm like, hmm, it's got, like, the hilt is unquestionably small sword, right? Uh, the blade is kind of like, eh, I mean, you cut with it, not very well, but so could you do, you know, you, I've seen identical small swords, and identical spadroon blades, so it's sort of like very, it's like right at that line where it's like not really easy to say one way or another. Cat is stuck. Uh, actually I need Beep for this. Beep has some storage space, good. Pick up Cat. Uh, down. Put down. Okay. That's a lot of books. Huh. Interesting. This is not what I expected. And also, we should get the, uh, you guys over here. The beat can immediately just go trade with, like, uh, Spion. Yes. Dump. Uh, yep. Oh boy. Oof. And an Ed Walker type one. Alright, that is good. So, we should probably start with Espeon. Uh, get rid of this, and then dump a lot of this. Alright, that's good. Then go over to Umbreon and be like, here is sword. And then go over here and be like, oh boy, that's a lot of skeleton repair kits. Boosh, uh, we don't want to put it here. So I guess. And I think that's good. Alright. Clear out. Okay. Anywho, so I was able to track down the court sword, which I've always only ever seen labeled as a court sword, uh, to the infantry, I think it was like 18, model 18, something or other, 1816, something like that, 1818, early 1800s, like end of the Napoleonic War period. And I've never been able to track it down before. And what's crazy about it is I've seen ones dated right before World War One, which means they must have used that model for almost 100 years. <laughs> which is, or, or possibly over 100 years, you know? Like right around that 100 year mark, which is surprising. Uh, you know, let's, you, there you go. Beep is purely stores now.
Alright, uh, what's in this thing? Nothing. Okay, it's garbage dragged. Fuck. Well, that's the. We can't get all gold. Uh, I don't want that. Can't all be the best thing ever. Oh, uh, yeah, that's not bad. Alright. Uh, let's start with Flareon. Hey, Flareon, you like, uh, stupidly expensive sales and repair kits, don't you? I thought so. Alright, um, anywho. So, I've been trying to figure that one out for a very long time, and I finally figured it out, and it's exciting. Like, literally, like, five plus years I've been looking for this model number because I don't have like a lot of my stuff it like has information on like all sorts of things there's always like a, not a whole lot of a few years after Napoleonic War where it's like comprehensive and all the like quote unquote comprehensive stuff I have is just missing that particular model which is another thing you like you always gotta think well the sources you have are made by people. What is listed is what they know about. And you you got to remember that maybe they don't know absolutely everything, even if they are, like, a great source, right? Even if they're a very, like, renowned, well-known source. Not everybody knows all things. Nobody's perfect. People make mistakes. People miss things. And maybe just because it is the best source in the world doesn't mean it's not also missing something. So keep that in mind. When researching antiques is, you know, it could be the best source in the world for that particular thing and be missing something. It, you know, that's possible. And eh, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, as uh, I am i found it a couple times, really. Pretty much all my books. Eventually, I like if if I see, find enough models, eventually I find something that my book isn't co like my books. That book, <laughs> my books aren't covering that. You know, even like if I get like the best source on blank, like the best source on German swords, or the best source on British swords, the best source on U.S. swords, or you know, Indian or Nepalese or whatever. Right, there's always something that's missing because, you know, history's, you, you know what you know, you don't know what you don't know. And that's sort of like all of, like, a lot is missed. There's a lot of stuff where it's just, I, you can't always find reliable source material, or maybe there's like very few surviving examples, or there's questions about how, like, you know, at the time, when the book was written, maybe there's a question about how legit is this, or, you know, is this correct or incorrect information, etc. So, it's, it's complicated. Like, maybe there's, like, one surviving example, and it's not on display in a museum, and we only know it exists because someone put it on an in internet, you know, whatever. And if not for that, you know, random museum person who took a photo and put it on their website or, you know, their uh, database. We might never have known it existed. Like, that happens surprisingly often. <laughs> like, there's, like, if you uh, have some time, go to something like the uh, Wallace Collection uh, online museum and just take a look through it. And you'll find some really cool stuff that isn't on display because the vast majority of collections aren't on display and not uh so some people think hey oh okay so museums there's generally two lines of thoughts of what to display things that show you a good idea of what people were using so this is you know the average soldier's kit right and then there's things that are exceptionally unusual. And the average soldier kit sort of stuff is interesting and useful to the common, you know, the public, the general public, who don't know absolutely everything about everything. 
Uh, and that's something they would find interesting, right? One, two, three, four, five. They might not know all, all of this, you know, random stuff. Uh, but that's something very informative. They can learn about all that, you know, what is normal, right? And then the, the stuff where, you know, people like me who, like, research all this is, like, what we're interested in is the unusual stuff a lot of the time, the things that aren't normal. And that used to be what got put on displays because the, that was, like, the clientele of the people who are going to drive across the country to go to your museum. That's what they wanted. Plus, the type of people who are going to be a museum director that's and make all these decisions are the type of people who are very obsessed with this stuff who learn all these cool things and are like, hey, yeah, I want to learn about this and that and whatever. Like, we're the t like us crazy people who like spend all their time looking up swords are the type of people who end up, you know, making those decisions. So we have historically not always made decisions that would be the most interest of the general public. Uh, just because, like, it's very hard to be like, I'm interested in X. What are you interested in? How do I, you know what I mean? Like, if you don't, if you're not, if you're completely uninterested in what that person is interested in, it can be kind of hard sometimes. Uh... I'm thinking, well, just gonna sit here on hold and wait. And when he's done, we'll, we'll take out the winner. Alrighty. So. One. Two. Three. Four, five. Hang, run a little bit back. I'm gonna go about here and beep. Uh, you should probably trade with like Espeon, get rid of some of that stuff. Uh how do I make all this fit fit? Uh hmm. Let's fit here very well. Not perfect. Not perfect. But not horrible. Uh that's a whole lot of square. Uh Hmm. What if... Hear me out. Maybe this is crazy. But... Yeah. What if instead... That's four. Uh. Hmm. Uh. 
thinking of stuff that sucks. Alright. Alright. Pick up. Uh. Ah. That'll actually make life a bit easier because now it's more uh, fours. Or the easier to find space for. Uh, shit. Uh, wait, there you go. That's great, it that fits perfectly. Like a glove. Almost like I planned it that way. Kill, uh, trait. Alright. Uh, I can put that in here. And I can put that here. And I can put the food and give it to, like, you. Alright. Uh, hmm. What if that would fit there? What if we did This is not great, but it fits. I don't think I knew better than this. Uh, I do not. Okay. Time to stop worrying about that and this trade with uh, Growls. Dump this, dump that. Uh, we can have a ton of those, uh, stolen ones, and we also have long bolts we need to get on Brian. And we'll heal up that robot that Beep's holding. Alright, good to go. So. Uh, I do want Beep to be the holder. Kind of like having my fast boys. Uh, you're holding one. You have Achilles and Bot take the other. Oh, Alright. So, put down. Walk over here. Pick up. Pick up. Alright. No hold. Somebody's attacking us. Alright, uh, who was getting attacked? Sniper bot. Hello. Hi. So, take away the weapons. Alright. Go trade with... Browse. So, dump this. Trade with Flareon. Dump that. And then Umbreon. You dump that. And then Stubbs. Come pick this guy up. 
get hold. So they stop doing that stupid dancing thing and heal the guy. Good. Get yeah, on hold. Let's get moving. So somebody else attacks us. We're essentially using ourselves as bait to go hunting. For robots. Uh, I, I feel like we didn't catch what we wanted to catch. It's, oh, no, nope, it is a sniper bot. He is just really fucked up. Okay. Rukia. Pick up. We are not going to have enough crossbows for this. Fold. Browse. And we're going to need a lot of sidearms. So, that means we're probably going to need to go looking for math work, master bows. Eh, I, oh, 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 oh. Dude. Alright, where are you going? Is something over here? Why are you going over here? Where do you go? Where do you go? What the heck? Ah. Oh. Alright. Pick up. Let's see this. Whatever. Alright. We've already got enough sniper bots for now. Alright, stop doing that stupid dance, heal guy. Alright. So, we go towards the pits. There's a crossing here to the Aslands, if we really wanted to. Uh, let's look like we found another archer. Don't know where. Holy shit, this is far. And then we stopped. Where is he? I assume somebody got damaged. Yeah, somebody got hit by an archer. And then he just disappeared. Spooky. Wait. I see something over here. Huh. Hey, who? Connor's dark. Or Sonora's Dark, or however you fucking say it. I think this is where we want to go. <gasps> Ouch. So, this here, Skin House, kind of scary. Honestly, it is kind of scary. So, these are skin vents. Can you guess what they do? If you guess skin people, you, you win a prize. Also, how are we doing on the acid? Is this acid? Apparently not.
go talk to Savant. Hey, uh. Of course. Uh. I'm confused. Uh. Cinders from the Assland? What? Human skin helps protect us. What? The fuck? I'm going to, I'm going to... Protect me, brothers. Okay, hold it off. We need to kill this. Uh... I love we can just say, you know what, we're just gonna fucking kill you. That's great. Because this guy clearly needs to be fucked. It's just like... He's just going on this insane rant. About how he needs, like, the skin of people. And I'm just like... What, are, what? What the fuck? What? What is this insane rant you're going on? Like, what even is this? Is this even real? <laughs> it's like, oh shit, another one. <laughs> but hey, me too, Nodachi. Me too, Wakazasi. Eh, eh, eh. Alright, did I pick him up? I I did not pick him up. Uh, I need to pick him up. You need to... Well, do we have... No, this is not the type of generator I can throw many dice. Okay. Uh, beep? Yes. Beep, come here. You will, you will be useful. What the fuck? Why can't you move? Yeah, there you go. So, while everyone's running around fighting these stupid robots... Come with that guy. So we take away this; they die instantly. Uh, we don't. We don't want that. So now he's dead. That's how you kill these idiots. We take away the core; they die because they're robots. Despite their insanity of like, no, I'm not a robot. I'm a, I'm a real boy. No, you're not a real boy. Fuck off. All right. Not real boys. Like, what is this actually insane rant this guy's going on? Like, what the fuck? Alright, so let's go to his Growlithe. So these uh, do not stack, which really, really sucks. Alright, we'll dump that. Uh, too far away. Where even is Growlithe? I don't even see him. Fuck it. Oh, and now we're going after another one. Alright, whatever. I can't trace them all down because they keep getting back up, so I need to finish them off. Check to that, it's a loot them. Yes. Alright. Corpse furnace. Can we throw Savant still living into the corpse furnace?
This feels very, uh... This feels like not the sort of question you would ask on, like, just can see things, you know? Like, almost every other context. Can we throw this living person into a corpse furnace? It's not okay. <laughs> Fucking die, man. Alright. Rather than, like, talking about that and then the FBI shows up and they're like, Hey, we hear you're throwing people into a corpse furnace. Do you care to explain yourself? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. <laughs> That's a toughie. I'll get back to you. Uh... Kill him. Why is he still up? Wait. Clicked it. There we go. Um. I think I'm already dead. Yeah. Oh, please, Mr. FBI agent. Uh, it's a video game. <laughs> We're not throwing people the first. Oh. Speaking of, let's, let's go test off this hypothesis. So, we have Savant. He's still alive. Okay, so we have Savant. Still alive. No? No? Oh, let me put him in. God damn it. He's still alive. I gotta wait for him to be dead. Well, good thing it's acid rain. So, there's two of them here. We kill these guys. And their friends. We take their stuff. They're dead. Problem solved. Anywho. Uh, similarly to the uh, German court saber, there is a British court saber. I have one. Pretty cool. And I've read that supposedly at least some high-ranking officers had them, but also the diplomatic corps, and I believe the later period example of all diplomatic corps, but I don't know for certain. Let's put hold on you guys and allow you guys to move around and allow the robots to move around and deal. Okay. So, are you listening to what I said to come in here? Yes. Are you guys 
Yeah. Alright. Deep. Um, that's a sniper bot. Who did somebody? How is that down? A story here. So, Hammett, Achilles, Bot, Stub, Brutia, Elkagia. You all have one. Who doesn't have one? You all have one. Alright. That means. Griff Griffin, you're next. You pick this. I, I, don't, I don't know what the story behind this one is. Oh, wait, no. Uh, Esfer had. Oh, he took the chest damage. Okay. Well, you know what? Griffin's, Griffin's a good guy. He will survive and guard this robot. His captive. Alright. Keep, keep, keep killing these things. We don't want to get them back up. Infinite Wing Wing, why are you out here? I told you not to be out here. To only be the robots and pack animals. Some of you are not listening. Alright, trade with Arcanine, I think. Is the growl full? I think Eevee has some space. Um, any upstairs? I don't think so. Alright. So. Attack all. Actually, let's come right here and put hold on. Fight out so wide where you can use your two handed weapons better. The pack animals can come in and be like bang AoE, bang AoE. Do anti armor weapons against armorless pack animals that have a shit ton of HP is gonna be basically useless. Right, hold, kill them all. Alright, now beep run around being the uh, executioner. Bang, you're dead. Oh, come on. He's literally got one arm. The uh, British examples of the court saber is sometimes pretty cool, sometimes not. I really like the like Victorian and uh, William the Force era ones. I don't really like the post-Victorian ones where they don't have where they simplified it and removed a lot of the decoration. Um, it's as far as I know, like I've. I know of no accounts of them being used. They might have been used, but they weren't really intended to be used. They were intended to be essentially something you had because it was fashionable to wear them, basically. Part of your uniform, more so than anything else. Uh.
And you they weren't really something you'd take into battle. They weren't like a battle scene. You know what I mean? They weren't like meant to be you know, a combat sword. But they were like the one I have and as far as I know, most if not all of them were spring hard and steel and then uh Britain was really like we 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 want quality swords. And they really cared about that. Uh, did, yeah, you have that guy. Is he dead yet? No. What if I put him down and we just, you know, beat him to death? What if we just hanged out here and just waited? As soon as he got up, we all just attacked him. Just leave him in the ass rain until he gets up. Oh. Where is he going? Try to run. And pause the game. Who's fighting him? Where'd he go? It's the only way out. I don't see him here. He must have got knocked down. No one's fighting him. Where did he get knocked down? Ah, that's where he got knocked down. So many of them have damage. Alright, um... So, either he gets up and tries to run, and then we kill him, or he doesn't, and then we kill him. Either way... Oh, they, the rain killed him. He dies. Alright, uh, trade with Archon. Trade with Voltix. Voltix. I uh, dump. Don't need that. I don't need that. Uh, and then. No room, it's uh, Well. Fine. They won't get stacked. This should sack. Alright. Well, that's, uh, good enough. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't want uh, do I don't want to keep that. Yeah, it's useless. Nah, I don't like weight plate. Is he dead yet? No. He's negative fifty-one to his stomach. Like, come on.
Let's let some time pass. See if he uh, does anything. Or if he sits there and dies. I mean, that chest damage will kill him with the rain in time. Or to stomach damage. Why does he heal? Why is he healing? He should be not healing. Alright, uh, I want all these guys on hold. And I want all these guys on hold. And I want you guys to come wipe them out. 100 plus damage, come on. Alright, uh. Savant is dead. Yes. The madman. And we could turn him into, uh. Yeah, no. Pick up. Corpse roll. Hold off. Go kill. Alright. Goodbye. We, we shan't miss you, crazy person. So many of these bandits. We haven't even wiped out two of them. Like, we haven't... We're not even done. Like, this is crazy. Check out the leader, at least. Not seeing weapons on a lot of them. This pack, there's probably a lot with weapons. Uh, looks like Espeon's down, and so are you. We're a lot. Rip out his heart. Alright. They have no arms. Well, that feels, uh... <laughs> a bit anticlimactic. He's getting up. Oh wait, he has no arms. As he slowly limps away because his feet are fucked up too. Oof. Um, let's see, don't, don't. Uh, I think if I shift this all over one, I got a little bit of space. Alright, uh, Vulpix. But hey, May 2, Nodachi. Hype, hype. What do you mean? I just took out your heart. You should be dead. Yeah, he's got no heart. He sort of instantly died. Game. Game. What are you doing? I think we're good.
Alrighty. Hurry up, full picks. Anywho, surprising number of these uh, swords have survived, despite being like a non-combat model that's like somewhat uncommon, that most people don't know what it is, you know? And yet, I see them all the time. It's like, what? That there, and then, you know, some of these shitty bad. Alright. Mine too. Okay, rest break over. Hold. Hold. Right, wipe these guys out. I think we already did. Yeah. We should have put the crazy guy in a peeler. Huh. That's a lot of them. And they're bringing back capture. Oh! I wonder who else they bring back. So I'm getting skin right now. That's why they keep showing up. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. So. Our response to that is to completely ignore it and then run in upstairs to see if there's something we want to loot before it gets destroyed. Uh, loot. Let him get skinned. He can get skinned. Take that. His armor's been destroyed already. Alright, see ya. Nerd. Grab this, and the rest we don't care about. Grab the rest we don't care about. No one's currently dying, it looks like. His leg's really bad. Uh, he's gonna need to carry it, I think, at some point. Uh, um, you're being carried. Uh, YouTube DL went down, ton of stomach damage. Alright. Uh, Let's have you run around and be the executor. Trade with Niger. 
I will loot some of these guys till I'm getting back up. This is somewhat of a problem. I'm trying to think maybe I should just run while I can. I don't know how many reinforcements they'll have. There's acid rain. Sir, once we're inside the building, we have cover, but it's, a, it's another 500 show up. <laughs> or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, we've already... They've already had over 100 spawn here. Or show up here. Like, at what point do we say, screw this, we're getting out of here, it's not worth it. Got our target. I would like to loot the place, but if looting the place is too difficult, maybe we should just run. Okay. You know, don't want to lose people to greed. These guys are dead. Vulpix is hurt. Uh, hold off. You guys, we want to hold on. And we want here. Wait, Legion Scout. What the fuck is a Legion Scout doing? They brought, they captured and brought a Legion Scout. Nani. Alright. Okay, beep. Go take a look. What does he have? He's got ancient samurai armor, uh, armored rig, and an old world bow, and a Mark II sword cleaver. Decent cleaver. The uh, armored rag skirt. I, I don't really like these. The medium armor, but they have athletics negative, and I see that athletics negative, and I'm just like, nope. If I'm gonna go to Aslex Negative, I might as well go, like, full heavy, with, like, this is a, uh, 9.2, that's a 9.2, so why, like, the only difference is weight, and way better armor protection, I mean, it gives me more of a negative stealth, and more of a negative some other stuff, but, like, this is worth it, because you're getting so much more armor protection than this, which is, like, not, like, 39 versus 70. Like, no, no question. Anywho, I guess I'll leave that guy there. I could put him in the peeler. <laughs> Alright, is anyone in here? I mean, that guy. I'll stop it. Okay. Right. Who's who's in here? Did we track this one? I don't remember. Drone guard who had the sword that I haven't tracked apparently.
Loot. Oh. Grab that. What is actually in here? Anything of value? Uh, no. <laughs> Recipe for human skin. Okay, creepy. Alright, we'll send these guys here. Send these guys here. Uh, engineering, okay. Big clock. So, Mark II Saver, and some other cool stuff, but I can't hear it all. I'll beep, come pick it up. And I'll go trade with, like, uh, Nightdale, wherever you are. Trade with kind of Or hound hour or whatever. So we'll dump that, dump all these. So, engineering research is the rarest research in the game. Uh not everyone will agree with that, but it's true. Um because there is a renewable source for ancient tech cores, which are more valuable, and you need more of them, but there is a renewable source. And there isn't for engineering research, other than it's spawning the shops, which is extremely rare. And it doesn't respawn, I don't think. I've only, I've seen it where there's a certain shops that will have it, and once you buy it up, it's, it has never restock it. So on paper, they restock, in practice they don't. Are here. Right. Let's just pick you up. Mm. We don't want that getting out. <laughs> now we're screwed. <laughs> yep. You are screwed. Uh, you're gonna have to hold to keep running away every five seconds, which is annoying. Uh, there are so many skin bandits. This this is extremely dangerous. There's acid rain. Like, make sure you're prepared before you come here, or you're not leaving. Yeah. Somebody posted on the Reddit the other day, it's like, is this supposed to be this many skin bandits? There's like a hundred of them. Which, you know, about a hundred here. All in the same building. And they just walk upstairs and they're like, oh, I'm, I'm, and he's playing solo too. Like, one single person. Against all of them. And he's just like, yeah, he's fucked. <laughs> Alright, uh, trade with Hound Arrow. No. So, we can trade with Nine Hill some more. Try to find him.
one over here. I'm not it might be this guy, it might be the other one, I'm not sure. Another one. Really? Me too, Katana. Can't hit him. Ooh. So many of these arms still. <laughs> Fucking hell, another Legion Scout. This isn't the same Legion Scout. This is a different Legion Scout. Yes. And still standard grade. Pack of Owls are starting to go down. No one's dying yet. Another Legion Scout. <laughs> These guys are just fucking the Legion Scouts. Oh look, another Legion Scout. <sighs> BP got a couple of them. This is hilarious. But seriously, uh, this is like a hundred plus easily, maybe two hundred plus. Of these things. You know? This is not something you can do with a few people. You know, early game, mid game. This is definitely late game type. You know, you're gonna get fucked if you come here. Sort of place. So. Be prepared. It's like with the angle grinder. Don't don't just go somewhere and be like, I'll be fine. Like, not nah, know what you're doing. Uh, yeah. I mean, I could do that. Carry like one more stick. This place is insane. Strange. That's annoying. Uh, obviously not the way we want to do it. Why would the game set it up that way? I don't know. that, get one more of these, and one of these, and that's, that's perfect. Alright. So I think Houndoom is next. And then Eevee. Right? Hey, who? What else has been going on? In the sword world. That's somewhat interesting. Um. Not a whole lot. Like, the stuff that's interesting was not that much stuff that's interesting to me, cause so much of it I've, like, seen before. Been there, done that. Alright, who has a lot of carry? Yes, Udo.
So big AOE hits are really gonna do well here. Is that a prince? It's a prince. Moot. Thank you. Do we want this? Yeah. We're using the sidearms. We're using them. They're using them. Pick up. Go down. Kill the bug. Yeah, I, I, I think he's not getting up. Alrighty, this is, this is, uh, basically horrible. <laughs> this is horrible. This is a nightmare. That we have somehow yet to die from. As if by magic. But we should be dead. I, all right, we should be dead. Uh, fucking hell. Grab him. I'm on the wrong side of the wall. I have to be on this side of the wall. Alright. Did I just drop him? I did. Uh, dead, dead. I need you alive. So, we need these guys out of the way. We need these guys out of the way. Okay. You're both immune to acid, thankfully. So, get looting. No survivors. Oh boy. Uh, I mean, on one hand, this totally worked at creating a, uh, the word? Kill them. Missing complete. Kill the zone achieved. 
However, uh, at the cost, potentially, of some problems. Um, going. Whatever. Uh, how do great. Um, so I want to move all of these down one. Move this down one. We can put this here. Alright. Then I move this over. Let's do that. Let's do that. Right. Ah, <sighs> forever. I can't believe how many there are. I've been to some of these before, but I don't think I've been to this one. I think I've always skipped it in the past just because I've like, ah, uh, I don't want to deal with it. Fuck skin bandits. I only hit like one or two of the smaller ones, and then I'm like, I've had enough of skin bandits for the whole game. <laughs> I've seen this place before, but I've always like come close and been like, oh, it's a ton of skin bandits. I think I'll pass. And you can take these guys and hire them, but they have that heart in their inventory and if you remove it, they die. It's kind of weird. I'm just like, uh, I don't want to mess around with it. Okay. Kill him. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Why I want to grab that. There you go. You know what? Put him down. Put him down. Put them out. These guys heal fast. Oops. Pick up. Put down. Pick up. Put down. And now he's dead. Uh, still aggroing at something. What? What are you aggroing against? Uh, 
like this. You want to get up? Get up. Do it. Do it. Ah, fuck. He ain't doing it. Technically, we have saved some of these guys' lives. You know? Like, sir, we let a couple of them die. The, the bug people. But we saved all the bug people who didn't get in. We saved all the legion who didn't get skinned. We're actually here saving the lives of our enemies. Completely by, uh, not mistake, but like, uh, unintended consequences. But what we're doing, we're intensely doing, but like, it has an unintentional side effect. Uh, by the way, we're doing a good thing, I guess. Uh, ew. <laughs> Saving lives. <laughs> what kind of madness is this? Uh, uh, oh, he, he's been shot. You've been shot. Uh, probably, yeah, there's at least one more in this melee who still has one of these things. Alrighty, go trade with Eevee. Oh. Pick up. Oh, come on. Go down. Put down. I think that's all of them. I saw I'm missing some somewhere. Black blood? I don't think so. Is dropping dramatically. Oh boy, I'm getting like 10 FPS now. Something's gone wrong. And I'm not sure what. But, for some reason, I now have 12 FPS. What the fuck is this? 13, 12. Okay. So, CPU is using like 25%, RAM's at 45%. And my, it can't be my GPU. I got a 1070. This is 1080p. <laughs> I have no idea. So, something weird is going on. But I think I will call it for today. And this episode is probably a glitz with uh, OBS. But, finish this episode on a cliffhanger and see in the next episode can we get the fuck out of here? <laughs> Because it's, it's going to take up a long way to get out of here. And there's going to be plenty more of these bandits on the way. We've already got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds dead. So, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, to be continued. See ya.